welcome back to my channel I've had some of you ask me a little bit about my studies because I have mentioned my studies before but um, I haven't really talked a lot about it so I thought of taking you with me on a day to varsity So I'm having one of my full week classes so I'm doing my master's degree in philosophy in management coaching here at the University of Stellenbosch Business School and a few times during the year it's a two-year degree a master's degree and uh, this year I have four weeks of full classes so divided up in two weeks so this is one of the weeks that I have my classes and our theme this week is leadership coaching. So I hope you enjoy it. So a lot of you might be wondering, you know, she became Miss South Africa, then she was Miss World, then she's finished a medical degree, now she's studying coaching, you know, what is wrong with this woman? <laughs> and in the beginning I thought the exact same, but just to give you some background, I started studying medicine because I really love helping people. And I decided to not do my internship and community service straight away because I really want to spend time with my family. I started the health organization called Revita Help with my sister-in-law and I thought of doing something part-time to still give me the time that I desperately want with my family but also to keep developing myself and pushing myself to boundaries and I came across the master's degree in philosophy in management coaching from the University of Stellenbosch Business School and I thought that that would be the perfect place to start. Um, equipping myself to be more self-confident, to go through a self-awareness journey and then to help women. Um, I focus my coaching on women and I've really found uh, an amazing passion in coaching and that is why I started doing it and as part of my studies I've done more than 40 hours of coaching till date and the results that I've seen in my clients are just amazing and yes that's just to give you some background on where I am at the moment and why I'm so passionate about coaching as well as why I'm going to focus on coaching so much more in the future. Hi I'm sitting here with my fellow student Wakawa from Kenya. Hi Wakawa. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> Good, thank you. Yeah. So, what made you decide on studying philosophy yeah. and um, coaching? Coaching. Um, um, okay, I did um, a course in the UK in psychotherapy. And uh, so, when I was living in the UK, it was very easy for us to, to, co to cancel people, okay. so, to work as a therapist. Yeah. So, I worked with the African girl child and um, I did quite a lot of work in, uh, with them on uh, sexual health and reproductive health and then also in, um, what is it called, in HIV and AIDS. But then when I came back to Kenya, I found that there was stigma around uh, therapy and counseling. So not so many people that I worked with but wanted to access that because I was working more with um, leadership, political leadership and women in leadership. Yeah. So I was looking for something that is different, you know, okay. something that, um, that would no be more receptive. Attached. Yeah, okay. no stigma attached. So hence okay. the reason why I looked around and I saw this was, you know, a course that I could do in Africa yes. and be close to home so I can go back home and practice. Hi, this is some of my classmates and they are also in my group. So we work in groups of threes and fours and we mo do mostly activities and things together. So this is Jacques, Hello. Renisha Hi. and Loy. Yeah. Tell us how you're enjoying the coaching journey thus far. I think for me personally it's been an amazing um, personal experience. Um, from a personal point of view the growth that I've experienced is one of the key things. Um, and it's been an amazing journey. Um, I like my my quad that, that I've got here. <laughs> so you might be asking me, what is coaching? <laughs> and, uh, and there are a lot of coaches out there, but very few people actually know what coaching is. And I thought it would be good for me to give you my idea of what coaching is and what coaching isn't. 
So there are different types of coaching. You get people who do leadership coaching, who do um, you know, uh, executive coaching, people who do team coaching. But what coaching isn't is coaching isn't psychotherapy. It's not mentoring, it is not counseling, it's not consulting. Coaching is on its own. And we psychotherapy, for instance, looks at the at, at, at the past, you know, trying to figure out certain um, things and trying to work through certain challenges and issues. Coaching looks at the future. Coaching um, looks at the future. It has a goal, and the coach, through different methods, ways, models, help the client to get to that certain goal. So the coach, me as coach, I don't give advice, I don't give, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not mentoring, I literally just hold a safe space, I become the thinking partner of my client, I hold my client accountable and in that way the client literally has the opportunity to think of her own goals, to think of her own solutions, to think of her her own challenges and what to do with them, what to do um, about them and how to get through them. So at the end of this master's degree I would have developed my own coaching model and my coaching focuses on women between the ages of 21 to 50 who have a lack in self-confidence either in their individual lives, professional lives and that in effect has a ripple effect on all areas of their life. So that is just a quick summary of what coaching means to me and what I focus on in my coaching and I'm really looking forward to expanding my coaching and to opening it up to so many more people. It's, um, it's a very intensive course so I like the depth you know in the course that we're doing here and um, basically it's more right now I'm in a period where I'm doing more in, inward work so I'm getting getting more self-aware okay. around uh, my own issues and uh, and I'm growing you know yes. so it's a journey for me it's a lot of growth yeah, yeah. I like that so. as well and like one of our lecturers mentioned today that for us to really be able to be good coaches yeah we have to know ourselves inside out our weaknesses our strengths and accept that in yeah. order to really listen with our judgments and yeah. be there for our clients yeah Renisha so what started out for me is very much a personal growth um, initiative has turned into a journey of self-discovery for me it's very much a in rich sense of who I am and the journey that I'm on and very much personal development but what I, I liked about um, psychotherapy before I came here was were three things. They talked about the three givens, authentic, authenticity, congruence, yeah. you know, and um, unconditional positive, positive regard. Yeah. So I feel with this course you get to know yourself better mm -hmm. and you can actually use that within yourself and you're around your peers that you can also do that with. Yeah, yeah so it's your real. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and, so, like and the nice thing is that we can actually use our background and yeah. integrate it into our models. models I mean, yeah. we have psychotherapists, we have um, doctors, we yeah. have engineers, we have lawyers, yeah. literally everyone. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, and you create your own model. Yes. So in the end, what you come up with is your own creation that you feel you can work with. Yeah. So it means you can do this forever because it's just you know what you enjoy, yes. you know, and you like to do. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> uh, thank you for being on my video with me. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. You know, enjoy. Louis. So for me, this is a new career path development. Um, it's a stressful course to do, but very fulfilling. And yes, I've got a great quote, great support system. <laughs> and uh, we'll see each other all the great Yes. One last thing. I just wanted you to guys to tell us what you do in your other life. Just quickly. Okay, so I'm in retail. I'm a merchandise planning manager. Okay, Ramisha. I'm in Within Mining and I'm a geoscientist. And I work for an NGO and I help with facilitating it. So it's amazing to have all of these different backgrounds and individuals coming together and doing what we think we love. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.